Hashtag squad goals has been all the rage since Taylor Swift redefined what it means to have a bomb group of friends that are beautiful, successful, and a whole lot of fun. But little does the bad blood singer know that someone else is creeping up to steal her squad goals throne. And that someone is Jennifer Lawrence. She has quite the lineup of friends, but how do they compare to T-Swizzles? We're about to match them up head to head to see who has the best squad, right here on Clever's Best of 2015. All right, before we begin, I have to set the record straight. We don't really want to pit Jennifer Lawrence against Taylor Swift because both ladies are fabulous and all their friends are fabulous. We are simply highlighting how these two have some pretty amazing human beings in their circles, and this is all just some light-hearted fun. So round one, we have the two women that make Tay and Jay laugh a little louder and smile a little brighter, Lena Dunham and Amy Schumer. Taylor's friend Lena is a triple threat in the entertainment industry as a writer, filmmaker, and actress in the hilarious show Girls. Jennifer has Amy, who is all the rage of 2015 and gets the award for the most hilarious woman ever. You might remember these two's drunken night on a piano. Nothing says BFF more than a night of dancing on tabletops, or in this case, a piano. Next up are the singer friends. What do you do when your name is Adele and you've just had an epic few weeks of record-breaking success? You hang out with Jennifer Lawrence, of course. Adele is pretty much the only artist that matters right now considering she broke NSYNC's one-week album sales record in only three days. And that's during an era when nobody buys albums anymore. Hello? No pun intended. That's actually pretty insane. Taylor's friend Lord was a cutting edge new artist that the music world desperately needed in 2012, and she's been killing the game ever since. The fact that Taylor and Lord can perform together is what makes this friendship so magical. Every squad needs that one person that is super, super attractive. And for these ladies, they have Carly Kloss and Liam Hemsworth. Jen and Liam are co-stars together in The Hunger Games. In an interview with Nylon Magazine, she said she finds Hemsworth as her good-looking best friend. She said he's the most wonderful, lovable, family-oriented, sweet, hilarious, amazing guy. Ha! Huh, makes you want to turn their friendship into a real-life Gail and Katniss situation, right? Carly, on the other hand, aka Taylor's sister from Another Mister, will have you in jealousy up to your knees. This Vogue video of the two is sheer perfection. Who's your best friend? Carly Kloss. Okay, good. And what's your name? Carly Kloss. Okay, and who's your best friend? Taylor Swift. And also Olivia Benson. Two-way tie. Next round of friends are the child stars turned mega stars. Everyone needs that one solid friend that won't have a superstar meltdown in the group. The perfect person for this is a child star, of course, because they have grown up in the public eye without any highly publicized meltdowns, career bumps, or drama. Selena Gomez is that for Taylor, and Joss Hutcherson is that for Jen. They are without a doubt at least one friend in the group who is for sure solid. I'm sure T and J are super grateful for them when times get rough and they need some advice. Moving right along, the next set of friends in their squads are both beautiful actresses, both beautiful and both crazy but in a good way, Emma Stone and Cara Delevingne. Before you get all crazy in the comments section talking about how Emma is Taylor's friends too, I want to let you know you're right. But since Emma and Jen were recently spotted together on a date night, she goes in Jen's squad today, okay? So you know Emma recently from her acting chops in Spider-Man, but we all fell in love with her in the hilarious comedy Superbad. As for Cara Delevingne, she is more than just an actress, she's a supermodel turned actress and recently worked on Suicide Squad. Both Cara and Emma can take any one squad from a two to a 10 like that because they are amazing. We went over the comedians, the actors, the models, and the singers. What are we missing? Oh yes, the TV stars. How can we forget Soraya on Team Taylor? She is on one of the hottest shows on television right now, the one and only Empire. And on Team Jennifer, we have Aziz, best known for his beloved role on the comedy Parks and Recreation. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Although these two have way more friends in their squads, I can't mention them all because to cover them all would take up another seven minutes that you and I probably don't have. So I'm also very confident that these six friends have given you enough evidence to make the call. Who has the better squad? Are you Team J squad or Team T squad? Let me know in the comment section below or you can hit me up at Jackie Idenisi. And if you can't get enough of celebrity squads, you can always click right here to check out six more on another show of Clever. Thank you so much for watching Best of 2015 right here on Clever News. I'm your host Jackie Idenisi and I will see you guys next time. Before you go, you have to check out some of Taylor's underrated songs on the left, or you can click right to see some more hot, hot celeb BFFs on Debatable.